Three techniques for the Keda gummy bear mold. But first, a pro tip. If you're having issues with the mold, try adding mix to the pieces without the outside shell. I'm going to pack the ears and the feet tight because I know that that's where mine stick. I'll scrape the back flat and flip it out onto my pan. This allows me to see if my mold is still sticking anywhere despite me packing it, which might indicate that I need to sand that area or pay special attention when I'm unmolding. Method one, light fill and squeeze. Using a light, fluffy mix, I'm going to fill the detailed side of my mold first. I'm shaking the mold a little bit to help those detailed areas fill in with mix. And I'm heaping it up above the line of the outer shell to create a nice mounted area that will help the back of the mold fill all the way in. I'm placing the back piece, squeezing, squeezing all the way around, but I'm not pressing it on the table. I use a spoon to help break the suction between the mold and the bath bomb, Give it a few more squeezes and then remove the outer shell. I'm going to clean up that satin ring just a little bit and now I'm going to tap all the way around. Tap, tap, tap. I cannot stress enough how much you need to tap. I'm going to gently remove the back piece first by rocking slowly back and forth as I pull up. I'm going to use a piece of cardboard and flip the bath bomb onto it so that I don't break it in the process of unmolding. Sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't, but with the gummy bear, you definitely need to do this. Now comes the process of tapping. Tapping, 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 unmolding gently and slowly. If there's any imperfections, you can tap them back into place. Method two, pack one side and press. This method is usually the most successful one for me. First, fill the front part of the mold pressing in and focusing on the areas that you know have issues. A couple extra presses in those areas is all you need, and then you fill the rest of the mold up with light fluffy mix. Add the back piece and squeeze. And now I'm going to press it on the table. I'm turning as I'm pressing to make sure everything's nice and even. I'm going to remove the outer shell. And once that's done, I'll start tapping on the mix. Now I know that I've mentioned tapping before, but it really is important, especially with this mold. You need to break the suction that exists between the bath bomb and the mold. If you don't do that, you will break your bath bomb. You also need to be very gentle, deliberate and slow as you're unmolding. Rock back and forth. Let gravity do the work for you. Oh no, my guy has a crack on his foot. That's okay, I'm able to push the pieces back into place. If your mix doesn't allow that, then you might need to add more oil. I flipped them out onto cardboard and start tapping, tapping, tapping. I'm tapping away because the front of the mix was the part I packed the tightest, remember? So it might need the most attention. Actually, he looks great. Like I said, this tends to be the most successful method for me. Method three, pack both sides and press. Now my gummy bear mold tends to only give me grief on the front side, but if yours gives you trouble with both sides, then pack both sides. See how I'm lightly filling and gently pressing. When I say you're pressing and giving extra attention, I don't mean that you're packing it in extra tight. You still need to have some air in there to help the bath bomb compress and stick together. So just like I packed the front side, now I'm going to pack the back side. Add some extra mix to both of them to help them stick together. Put them together like your sandwich squeeze and you're ready to do this thing. Okay, so tap, 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 tap. Put it on the table and press, turning the mold as you press to make sure that everything is even and you're going to remove the outer shell. Now, if you remember that I said that the second method required a little extra tapping, this method is gonna require the most amount of tapping. You're going to need to tap, tap, tap. You're going to need to tap some more. You're going to need to be very, very patient, but this will work. You just have to be patient. Rock the mold gently back and forth. Let gravity help you as you're unmolding. If you feel any areas of the mold sticking, stop and tap some more. Do not force it. It will break your bath bomb. I know that my mix looks really dry and I've had people comment before that my mix is too dry and I needed to add some more binder. My mix is oil heavy. In general, the bath bomb world tends to think of wet mixes as mixes that are wet with water. But I think a better way to look at it is to have a mix that is wet with oil. That's gonna give you a lot more working time and it helps your bath bombs unmold a lot easier. 
See how good this little guy did? The only flaw, I don't know if you noticed, was on the back, his ear broke just a little bit. No big deal. Thanks guys for watching. Like and subscribe for more tutorials and visit us at bathvisandfoam.com or our Facebook group, Bath Foam, Bath Bomb, and Bubble Bar Support Group. Happy making!